Member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it's a pleasure to uh, rise today to speak to this legislation and uh, represent the constituents of Vancouver Point Grey. And uh, I have to say, Mr. Speaker, that uh, when uh, I was planning on speaking to this bill, I didn't think that uh, I would be spending some of my time trying to convince members of this House of the reality of climate change and why this legislation needs to be stronger than it is. But unfortunately, I will have to spend some of that time in light of the remarks made by the, the member for Chilliwack Hope. And uh, as the first uh, government speaker on this, and the only speaker actually until the Minister of Health was moved to speak uh, this afternoon, I think the government sends a strong message when the first speaker to the bill uh, says that he is not convinced that human-created climate change is a real thing. The message that is sent is, this bill doesn't really matter necessarily because we're not even sure that this climate change thing is real. And I think we do need to address that argument head on because this bill is very important. And so I bring to this House uh, some of those comments to express the importance of getting this bill right. He said, I want to explain my support of this bill which combats global warming, particularly when I'm not naturally inclined to believe in the science of global, global warming, unquote. Honorable Speaker, NASA, rocket scientists, is there, you know the saying, Honorable Speaker, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. We generally understand rocket scientists to be pretty sharp people. NASA, on their website, says consensus, 97% of climate scientists agree. And the article says 97% of climate scientists agree that climate warming trends over the past century are very likely due to human activities and Oh, we've got two, Honorable Speaker. We have two climate deniers. Okay. <laughs> and most of the leading scientific organizations worldwide have issued public statements endorsing this position. These are rocket scientists, uh, Honorable Speaker. Maybe that will help convince the member from, from Chilliwack Hope that, uh, that human-caused climate change is a real thing. He continued to say, the very use of language like skepticism and belief and denial and agnosticism, which are widely used around the world, to him is telling. These are words we use of faith matters rather than settled issues of science. It suggests to him that the science is not yet settled. After all, we don't really discuss or argue about whether one plus one makes two or whether water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Those kinds of things are beyond debate, but this obviously is not beyond debate. I think what makes me skeptical about the global warming debate is the passion, the rhetoric, the political pressure, the repression of opposing viewpoints, the accusations and condemnations, and apocalyptic pronouncements that seem to me to substitute for hard scientific reality. I don't like to give in to that kind of thing. Well, Honorable Speaker, maybe, oh, nice to see you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, maybe this will convince the member from Chilliwack Hope uh, if, he, if he's not keen on, uh, on understanding that humans are causing climate change. Ten of the warmest years on this planet measured have all occurred since 1995. And seven of the eight warmest years on record have occurred since 2001. The average global temperature has risen by 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 0.8 degrees Celsius. 2010 was the hottest year on record, tied with 2005. We're observing sea level rise, ocean acidification, and whether the damages our city's honorable speaker, the member from Chilliwack Hope should call an insurance company. And he should ask that insurance company how they are preparing for extreme weather events, which, which are happening more frequently as a result of human-caused climate change. When money is on the line, honorable speaker, the insurance companies are preparing for climate change. I'm not sure why the member for Chilliwack Hope still resists this consensus. Member from Chilliwack Hope, uh, uh, if you can imagine, Honorable Speaker, went into a, a so-called scandal from many years ago called Climate Gate. He said, quote, a few years ago there was a scandal involving the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. In 2009 and again in 2011 there were hundreds of thousands of emails and other documents that were hacked from a server in East Anglia in England. They were made public and they seemed to show 
that senior scientists who influence public policy on a global scale were pushing the bounds of scientific evidence and politicizing that issue. Honorable Speaker, the UK government looked into this uh, so-called scandal and concluded that there was absolutely no evidence of wrongdoing in that, in that scandal. The member read the headline on the Sun uh, News website and then uh, concluded uh, that that was the end of the story. Uh, he should have Googled uh, the UK government's investigation of the so-called climate gate. And then he would know uh, that there was no scandal. And in fact, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change uh, uh, is uh, entirely uh, complete in its integrity. Now, the last piece, and this is a very important piece to address from the member from Chilliwack Hope, the lead government speaker on this bill, who came to this House to convince us that climate change is not as urgent as people believe and that we should uh, uh, be very skeptical that it actually is human caused. He said, what gives me pause about the science of global warming is the ongoing debate within the scientific community itself. For example, the latest news at the end of September was from two scientists from Alabama who compiled NASA satellite data to conclude that the Earth's temperature hasn't increased for the last 18 years. That, to me, is a problem for global warming, by which I can only take that he understands that to be a problem for the 97% of climate scientists who agree that human-caused climate change is a real thing. Honorable Speaker, I, I have to thank NASA again. They're not having a great day today. I'm sorry to hear that the launch did not go well uh, for the uh, International Space Station. I hope they deal with that quickly. But I can tell you, uh, Honorable Speaker, um, that uh, the members are also opposed to space exploration. That's interesting. Uh, we're, we're moving backwards very rapidly on the other side of the House, Honorable Speaker. The, the, uh, Hon Honorable Speaker, uh, NASA has also uh, kindly provided on their website a link to uh, uh, the uh, California Office of Planning and Research, a list of, of organizations from around the world uh, that uh, uh, hold the position that, quote, climate change has been caused by hum human action, unquote. Uh, the academic, the uh, Science Academy in Chile, in Portugal, in the Re Dominican Republic, in Venezuela, Guatemala, Mexico, Bolivia, Peru, Senegal, France, the Academy of Arts, Humanities, and Sciences of Canada, Mozambique, South Africa, the developing world, Malaysia, Moldova, Czech Republic, the Islamic Republic of Iran, Egypt, New Zealand, Italy, Albania, Honorable Speaker, this is just the, just the beginning of the list, and, and I think it is important, I think it is important, Honorable Speaker, to recognize that if the member for Chilliwack Hope had a party with the scientists who are climate deniers, it would be a much smaller party uh, than the party of uh, uh, worldwide scientific organizations that recognize that climate change is real. The Australian, the Australian Academy of Science, the Australian Medical Association, Bangladesh, Brazil, Bulgaria, California, Cameroon, in Canada alone, the Canadian Association of Physicists, the Foundation for Climate and Atmospheric Sciences, the Geophysical Union, the Meteorological and Oce Oceanographic Society, the Society of Soil Scientists, the Zoologists, the Chinese Academy of Sciences. That's page one, Honorable Speaker. Page one. Honorable Speaker, I hear, I hear the, mem the Minister for Technology suggesting that this is a filibuster. The lead speaker for the government had the nerve to stand in this House and say that human-caused climate change was in debate in the scientific community. Can you imagine that? As he introduced a bill that ostensibly shows this government cares about climate change. He was the person the government chose as their lead speaker. This is not a filibuster. This is to show how absolutely absurd absurd that position is. Honorable Speaker, the Croatians, the EPA in the United States, the Geological Society of America, of Australia, of London, Ghana, the Indian National Science Academy, the Israel Academy of Sciences and Humanities, the Kenyans, the Koreans, the Latvians, the Lithuanians, the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia, for crying out loud, Honorable Speaker. And yet the member for Chilliwack Hope is not there yet. The National Academy of Sciences in Sri Lanka. Oh, NASA. Now, Honorable Speaker, the member for Chilliwack Hope uh, uh, has two scientists from Alabama who compiled NASA satellite data, the people who own those satellites, who put them into space. NASA agrees that humans cause climate change. But not the member from Chilliwack Hope. The Nicaraguans. 
The Pakistan Academy of Sciences, the Polish Academy of Sciences, the Romanian Academy, the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Scientists, the Royal Scientific Society of Jordan, the Swedish Academy of Science, the Russian Academy of Science, the Science Council of Japan. Honorable Speaker, we are rapidly approaching a scientific consensus here, and yet we can't get consensus on the other side of the House that climate change is real and human caused. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Honorable Speaker, I hear the Minister of Health say baloney, but his colleague, the member for Chilliwack Hope, stood in this House as the first government speaker on this bill, and he said, and I read, quote, I read, quote, he's not naturally inclined to believe in the science of global warming, and quote, uh, that there is a problem for the science of global warming. Absolutely, Honorable Speaker, I hear that he has a right to his opinion. But he was the lead speaker for the government side on what, uh, not, not just any issue, what the government has listed as their most important, important initiative, the natural gas initiative. He was the lead speaker. Honorable Speaker, oh, I see. The minute, uh, Honorable Speaker, I will correct myself because uh, uh, the members on the other side are absolutely correct. The minister introduced the bill. He was the first, he was the first speaker who is not a member of cabinet. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. The Sudanese, the Tanzanians, the Turkish Academy of Science, the Uganda National Academy of Sciences, the World Health Organization, the Zambia Academy of Sciences, and the Zimbabwean Academy of Science. Honourable Speaker, from A to Z, a list of worldwide scientific organizations who all disagree with the member from Chilliwack. Oh. <laughs> honorable Speaker, what about Jim Morrison? I don't even understand that, Honorable Speaker. The, the members are making less and less sense on the other side of the House as we progress through this bill. <sighs> honorable Speaker. There are a number of classic rock fans on the other side of the house, but the only fossil is the member from Chilliwack Hope. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, you've heard uh, a number of my colleagues stand to raise uh, a number of issues with this uh, government legislation, not the least of which is that they apparently don't take it that seriously because they're not that sure about human-caused climate change. Uh, the, but the... the <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I will get there, Honourable Speaker. Well, I've got to find my, my notes. This is very reasonable uh, as the Minister of Technology. Hon Honourable Speaker, this, uh, this civil house, we will get there. Uh, uh, residents of BC, we will get there. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, the, am I noting the hour? <laughs> I can't even. I can't even get. To... <laughs> Honourable Speaker, in my quest to ensure that every BC Liberal, liberal believes in climate change, we will get there. Uh, but maybe not today. I'm noting the hour, and uh, I do seek to reserve my place to continue this debate in the next and move adjournment of debate. Thank you. Mm.